happy with the win there, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Um, happy with the win. Obviously, that's three in a row, but um, and you know, it's the first time I suppose this year I've beaten my old club, uh, which is pleasing. But um, more pleasing the fact that I think that that's the best football we've played all year. To be honest with you. Um, we actually uh, were patient with the ball. Our build-ups, I thought, were generally pretty good. Um, obviously, a bit of pressure towards the end there, but uh, no, some good football tonight. I thought it was a good game. It must have been an entertaining game for the crowd, I'd imagine. A bit of rivalry between the two clubs, it seems, at the end there as well. Yeah, good? I think it's good for the game. I mean, you know, you leave things on the field and, and that, and um, I think the, the players appreciate one another. You know, I don't like the, so much getting the, 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 the players and the spectators type thing involved and, and that sort of shut that out but um, yeah there's a bit of rivalry there always will be I suppose when you're a, an ex-player coach you know people talk about it and, and that and uh, yeah look um, like I said we've got one game to go and it would be nice for us to finish on a positive note next week What was your view of the penalty shout down there um, later in the game? Um Yes, for to them. be honest with you, I thought there was a handball before that, but um, from my perspective, it looked like a handball beforehand. I mean, things there were a lot of players around. Um, it was difficult to difficult to see, and you know, the interpretation of the handball rule is very, very difficult, and and really is open to interpretation. But I honestly thought there was a handball for us before that on the edge of the box. But you know, that's the way the game goes. Benny Peter had a good game for you. He's back in form. Yeah, look, we spoke about that with Benny. Um, before the game, the fact that you know he's been a stalwart at this club for many, many years, and and it, it, from a coaching perspective, early on, it wasn't good to uh, a good feeling to drop him. But I still say it was the right decision uh, for the club to move forward. An opportunity is open for him again, and and he's taken that. So, and we talked about that before the game, and yeah, you know, he did. He had a very, very good game, and I take my hat off to him. Lastly, from a fashion point of view, you're trialling the beating tonight, and it's nice to see. Yeah, not the club beanie. I don't know where mine is, but uh, yeah, a bit cold around the ears. I had a bit of a shave today, as you can see. Ah. So um, yeah, got to keep the old noggin warm. Yeah. Congratulations on the win, Chris. Yeah, thanks, for yeah. Cheers. Good. Disappointed, Glenn. Very disappointed. Uh, we just didn't show up to play. Uh, congratulations to the Knights. They were definitely a better team than the Knights. So, uh, yeah, very disappointing. Created Did a lot of chances near the end. Uh, we did, but I think we were second best all night. Really, first half. We, we just didn't show up, and I'm not sure. I can't understand why. Uh, maybe we were starting to believe the press, and that, you know, and, uh, and and things were going well for us, and that all the results were favourable for us to to, uh, to get to third tonight. But unfortunately, it just was a bit too much for us. So. Do you think you should have had a penalty? Uh, look, I'll be honest with you. I missed it. Uh, I didn't. I was. I was actually focused on midfield, and then everyone was telling me that it was a handball. Certainly, the crowd uh, got excited about it. So, uh, but I missed it. There's still a chance next week. Oh, uh, we've got some big outs now, and uh, I mean, look, we're look, looking forward to the game. There's no doubt. South Hobart have uh, got everything to play for now, so uh, we'll, we'll certainly. Um, uh, have a, you know, in, enjoy South Hobart coming to visit us, but uh, uh, we've set, certainly got some big outs. And we'll have to bring in some juniors. One of those big outs is Josh Fielding. Is that a hamstring injury? Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, and looking pretty serious. Yeah. 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 Who were the other? Uh, Stockers did a groin. So he came off, and Yanko was suspended for five cards. So That'd be ominous. I mean, if you do make the finals, you might have a couple of players out for the final series as well. Yeah, sure. But uh, I mean, we play to a system, and and we've had ins and outs for the last eight weeks. Still stuck to our system, and and that's gone quite well for us. Uh, we're just gonna have to bring some uh, the younger lads and reserves through, and and uh, just gonna have to step up. It will be disappointing if you do miss out on a finals position, but then again, you have done very well to get to where you have been, and even had a shot at finals has been pretty impressive. Uh, sure. Look, the boys have responded well. We had a lot of momentum uh, the last six or seven weeks, and. And, and they've been fantastic, really. Uh, tonight was a bit of a, a, a blip, but it was a blip at the wrong end of the season and at the wrong time. So, look, I think some of the boys will learn from that. Are there any uh, particular areas of concern tonight that you can pinpoint where, where it might have gone wrong at all, Glenn? Uh, look, at half-time, we, we said that uh, 
everything that we discussed before the game, we did the, we did the opposite. We were knocking balls in, in the air when we should have been knocking it on the deck. I mean, they, they have a very tall back line and we were knocking things and, and things were landing on Holmes's head every single time. We were second to the ball. We weren't shutting them down. Uh, we were giving them too much space. They were dictating the game in the first half. All these things um, uh, that we talked about, uh, it just didn't, didn't go to plan at all. Is the grass pitch a factor at all or not? Um, I'm not sure so much if it's the fact that, that, that it's the grass. I think it is a little bit bigger than our ground. And, and, um, maybe, or, or maybe not. I, I, I couldn't tell you really. We've played well at other grass pitches, so I, I wouldn't think so. I just think it was our mindset today. Thanks very much, mate. Okay.